The Indonesian economy is the largest in Southeast Asia and one of the emerging economies in the world. Indonesia is expected to become one of the world's largest economies in the G20. And its continuous attempts for permanent development and penetration in the fields of the world. Indonesia's creative economy is very diverse and covers 16 different subsectors. In this video, we will show about the biggest current and future projects in Indonesia. But first, don't forget to share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. The Sidrap Wind Farm project is located in South Sulawesi. It consists of 30 wind turbines with a total capacity of 75 megawatts. The project produces 253,000 megawatts of renewable energy annually for the South Sulawesi National Grid, which is enough to power more than 70,000 local homes, provides local job opportunities, 35 new jobs, reduces air pollution by replacing coal and other fossil fuel power plants with clean, renewable energy. Indonesia, one of the largest importers of fuel in Southeast Asia. Indonesia cuts import bill. By improving the dilapidated local refining infrastructure, Indonesia plans to make a final investment decision on the Puntang refinery project. Its production capacity is 300,000 barrels per day. Indonesia has chosen two companies, one of which is Omani, to develop a $10 billion refinery. The refinery is expected to be commissioned in 2025. Project to develop a Korean version of the warplane. It is a joint development project between South Korea and Indonesia in the project to build a new warplane. South Korea calls this project KFX, while Indonesia calls it FX. The two countries agreed to continue mutual cooperation efforts in the defense industry in the future. Indonesia plans to move its capital from Jakarta and Java to a new city in East Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. The move is partly to relieve pressure on crowded, crowded, flooded and polluted Jakarta. The new capital may also be a means of symbolically centralizing government. Work on the new city is supposed to start in 2020. But then COVID-19 happened. At this stage, it is expected to be completed in 2024. The plant has a capacity of 1,000 megawatts. It has been under construction since 2017. On an area of 505 acres. It is located in the coastal region of Siribon, West Java Province, Indonesia. At a cost of $2.2 billion, it is an expansion of the 660 megawatts plant that has been in operation since 2012. An important part of the end station project is the construction of 45 towers to accommodate the additional power output. The coronavirus pandemic has slowed construction. The plant is now 80% complete. Work is scheduled to begin by February 2022. Tokyo Land Indonesia has managed to sell 40% of the 482 units in its first condominium in the heart of Jakarta despite the stagnant real estate market. The luxury apartments will be in one of the brand's mega Kuningan towers. It is the company's first large-scale project in the bustling central business district of South Jakarta where people can live, work and not face the traffic jams for which the Indonesian capital is famous. It is located on an area of 11,000 square meters of mainland, with a total investment of about $200 million. South Korea's Hyundai Motor is initially working on building a new plant in Indonesia. The factory will be located in Bekasi, East Jakarta. Production will start at the end of 2021 with an annual production capacity of 150,000 cars. It plans to increase production to 250,000 cars annually. It will be the company's first factory in the Southeast Asian country. This is a blow to the competing Japanese companies that dominate the market. Hyundai will invest about $1.55 billion in the Indonesian auto plant until 2030. 
including product development and operating costs. Indonesia needs to raise its clean energy ambitions. Estimates of the amount of solar energy the country can absorb exceed 207 gigawatts. Indonesia is implementing current solar energy projects. Estimated at 6.5 gigawatts in 2025. This scenario is based on Indonesia's maximum solar technology potential. The provinces of East, West and Central Kalimantan, the Indonesian province of Borneo, have the greatest technical potential for solar energy. It is the first high-speed railway in Indonesia. It connects Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, and Bandung, the fourth largest city. Its total length is about 150 kilometers, and a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour. After completion, the journey from Jakarta to Bandung will be shortened from currently 3 hours to 40 minutes. The total cost of the high-speed railway project between Jakarta and Bandung is about 5.5 billion US dollars. Currently 56% of development work has been completed. Indonesia has a quarter of the world's nickel reserves. It controls the largest reserves in the world, ahead of Australia and Brazil. China's Amperex has announced a $5.2 billion investment to build integrated battery plants in Indonesia. While L. AG signed a memorandum of understanding on investing $9.8 billion to produce batteries for electric cars in the country. Indonesia aims to increase investment in the electric car battery sector to reach $35 billion by 2033. The project will be the largest residential complex in Batam. It consists of 6,500 housing units, and a condo tel. An international hospital, a mall and an office tower. One tower will be 100 stories high. The project is a collaboration between the family of former President P.J. Habibi and Pollux Properties, under the name Pollux Habibi International. The development will cost 1 billion US dollars. The first phase is expected to be completed in 2019. While the entire project is scheduled to be completed by 2024. In your opinion, which of these projects is the best in Indonesia? And here we reach the end of the video, do not forget to share the video, press the like and subscribe to the channel.